Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a photographer here in Middle Canada. Today I just want to go through why you should probably keep your kit lens. All right, my kit lens has been one of the most versatile lenses that I have uh, ever had in my bag. And I've actually gone through a number of different cameras from a number of different brands. And all of the cameras I bought have always come with a kit lens. And I've always been able to utilize it in some way or another. If you're just starting out in photography, this is the, probably the first lens that you have. You probably haven't even thought of investing in other lenses. Uh, and you probably shouldn't until you get to master the settings of your camera. So here is just some examples of some photos that you can take uh, with your kit lens. Let's start off with a really easy lighting scenario that you can accomplish almost every day of the year, and that is taking photos during sunrise or sunset or what uh, photographers often, often call the golden hour. Here's an example of a very cliche Pinterest type shot uh, that I took uh, a long time ago, very early in my career during an engagement shoot. The sun was setting just over the horizon and we were able to uh, create the uh, sun coming through the, the heart and the hands. And, uh, you know, even the kit lenses, almost all the kit lenses that I've had have actually handled backlighting and flare really well. And uh, this was no exception. I really like the way the, um, the, the, the light and the flare on the lens was, was occurring here. So again, this was one of my first ever cameras that I took this with. It was with a Nikon D5000, and the kit lens that I got with that was an 18 to 105. And this particular one was shot at 38 millimeter. So uh, pretty much uh, any kit lens that you get out there will uh, be able to duplicate these settings. This next one was uh, actually taken on the wide end of an Olympus kit lens, a 14 to 42 millimeter. When you're shooting with small cameras like this, it's often uh, difficult to get shallow depth of field. And so as a result, you need to use your lighting in order to create depth in the image. This is just a simple family photograph with grandkids and their grandmother and the sun was setting behind them and the shadows and the light behind are what's creating the depth. And I really like this. It was taken with a really small cheap camera and a very cheap kit lens. This one just illustrates how candid backlight, I really, this is my daughter, we were at a folk festival, she was enjoying herself doing some painting. I just liked the way the light was coming in through the through the side or the, the, the top of the image in this case and was kind of lighting up her hair and rim lighting her arm. Here's another example of some backlit images or some images taken during uh, golden hour. Please don't judge too harshly on the color grading of this. This was done very early in my photography career and uh, I've changed my uh, editing style quite considerably, but still I just wanted to illustrate what a kit lens can do and what backlighting uh, does to uh, make it a little bit more dramatic. Here's a similar story that this time, same bridge, the camera or the uh, sun is now off to the uh, left uh, of uh, the camera and, and it's lighting the side of these gentlemen. Uh, these two brothers and uh, again using the bridge and uh, creating depth by using leading lines and uh, and having a background that is uh, is quite far away and open. All right, here's another image from that set. This time instead of uh, backlighting the subjects, I actually front lit them or uh, just the, the light source of the sun was just a little bit off to the side. And I was able to capture a really dramatic shot here by getting a lot of sun on their faces, a really warm feeling nice summery day and uh, this actually allowed me to uh, get a photo where the, the the background or the sky wasn't blown out so that's one thing you got to watch out for when you're backlighting is that a lot of times you're going to get blown out skies just pure white skies or different things like that there's going to be pure white points in your image where the light source is coming from and in this case uh, we didn't have to worry about that because we were front lighting and the light was dramatic and soft enough uh, at this time of day when the sun is just kind of touching, getting towards touching the horizon that you can get really dramatic shots like this. There's another way to get good lighting in an image as well using your kit lens and that is when you're using soft light. So that's light that is diffused, it's not direct, it's not coming from the back. It's, uh, you know, often, you'll often see this kind of lighting when the day is overcast or when you're underneath cover inside the shade. Here's an example of, uh, again, that same engagement shoot that I talked about earlier. Uh, we did a little bit of Photoshop trickery on this photo, but uh, again, the light, we were in an alley, so the light wasn't coming in directly, but basically the light was coming in then from both sides and a little bit of the top of the alley between the buildings. And this created a nice kind of flattering soft light on the subjects. Same thing with this one. This camera, uh, actually this was taken with a very simple camera, a Canon a Rebel T2i and the kit lens 18-55. to This is probably a very common setup for, for many new photographers. Uh, again, the light was soft and uh, it was late in the day and uh, the that allowed me to bring kind of the subjects into the, uh, into the soft part of the light 
and then use the bridge here as some leading lines and to create some depth and some separation between the subject and the background. All right, now on to my, one of my favorite ways to use uh, almost any lighting setup, but uh, it's very easy to get professional looking shots with a, any lens, uh, specifically with a kit lens, when you're using the right light. And I really, really like window light. This is a prime example of, you know, it's probably the cheapest camera I've ever owned. This was a Samsung NX1000 and it had a 16 to 50 kit lens. I can't really say anything good about the camera or the lens, but it still was able to capture an image uh, just like this, which to me uh, looks almost like a professional portrait shot in a studio. So the things that made this work really well, you can't see his hand because it's out of frame, but it was actually leaning up against the window that was lighting him. So the light that was coming in from the window was soft. Uh, he was very close to the window, which allowed that uh, very kind of uh, gradual but soft light fall off. And then also the same thing with the gradient on the background that almost looks uh, like it was studio lit. But again, it's just uh, the way the window was situated was just throwing that light very nicely onto the background and creating that gradient back there and then the separation that occurred as a result. So I really like this image, even though it was taken on some extremely cheap equipment. Same thing with this image here. Again, this is my son. This is at a Father's Day brunch and he was, uh, you know, just kind of looking outside at the scenery out the window and um, I really like the reflection that this got and again the light that is coming in through the window is contrasty but soft and it's just creating a lot of depth in this image and uh, and the reflection is just bang on too so I, I really like this shot probably would never have gotten it if I wouldn't have taken my compact portable camera with uh, with its kit lens on it just to show you as well that this kit that this uh, a kit lens can perform in harsh lighting situations as well you know this was a, a partly sunny or uh, there was some bright light and some very contrasty light as you can see uh, on on the kids here. We were hiking through the bush and we kind of came to this uh, scenic vista with a pond and some mountains and uh, again if I hadn't had the versatility in the lens choice that I had uh, I probably would never have got this shot because this was probably lasted only for a second or two before they ran off or wandered off. So uh, again you know the 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 this was harsh kind of midday light and uh, but I still think that this uh, photo turned out well and uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to get it with much um, with much more than a kit lens uh, or at least uh, it would have been difficult to pack a, you know a larger or more expensive lens so I always like to take my kit lens along for little excursions like this and the final image I have here is actually uh, from a graduation shoot that I did Again, um, by the time this was close to the end of the shoot and by the time the shoot was concluded, the sun had moved you know, into a situation where there was harsh light and lots of contrast, lots of shadows, which are generally not um, something that, uh, that you want in an image. However, um, we use that to our advantage in this case. And again, this was shot with my Olympus in the 14 millimeter kit lens. Uh, this was a little racked in a little bit from the wide end to about 17 millimeter, so that, I think that's about equivalent to about 35 millimeter on a full frame. I really like that focal length, and uh, I think it worked really well for this. This um, this gentleman was uh, graduating from high school. His uh, grandfather had actually restored this antique truck, and he wanted to have it in some of the images, and we wanted to kind of get a vintage vibe going. So I really think that the you know this is sort of backlight, but it's very harsh lighting. Uh, it's creating a lot of uh, highlights and shadows, but I think that works really well in uh, in black and white And we wanted to kind of get that vintage feel to it anyway, so Hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do with a kit lens um, Tune into episode two where I actually talk about using artificial light with a kit lens to get some really great Professional looking shots with very minimal amount of money Thanks for watching and if this is your first time here Consider hitting the subscribe button for more episodes just like this